God bless you and greetings to you in the name of Yah, our Heavenly Father, and Yahusha, our Lord and Savior. Uh, I wanted to get together with you again here and do another update with you. Uh, update 618-2018. <coughs> Pardon me. And it goes like this. As mentioned in earlier updates, it's a race to the finish line. The deep state elitists, the Luciferians, the ultra-left liberal Nazis versus President Trump and the Patriots and the National Awakening Movement taking place across the world. Who's going to win? <coughs> Excuse me. President Trump or the global elitists? There are reportedly over 35,000 sealed indictments but very few arrests. None of the top tier elitists, Luciferians, at least according to what I'm able to find out online, HRC and her husband, <coughs> her top aide, the Clinton Foundation, and his donors, all of the main child traffickers, ritual murderers caught on video, Human slave traitors, liars, treasonous, seditionists, all seem to be getting away with their heinous crimes while the Luciferian mainstream media continues to be complicit, continues to put out fake news and made up stories devoid of facts, etc. <coughs> Excuse me. President Trump continues to be under relentless assault by way of the above mentioned groups. In addition to the deep state, trying to start World War III seemingly daily, President Trump is having some successes, but without additional help it appears almost hopeless. The Republican Party is a name only, <coughs> pardon me, with the exception of a dozen or so patriotic congressmen and women. They are either in cooperation with the deep state, afraid to act because of the deep state, or compromise because of the deep state, or all the above. I'm not trying to be overly critical of President Trump, but unless he picks up the pace, he and we as Americans are about to be overcome by the flood of the enemy. If he wants to take out the deep state, he must act decisively and fire the top occupants of the DOJ and the FBI for starters, and then move on to the CIA, the SES, and various other government agencies. <coughs> Excuse me. Too slow inaction are not viable alternatives for President Trump. The enemy is massing for a counterattack which may defeat the Trump agenda before it has a chance to really get off the ground and be effective. Based on the MOD, Mil uh, Ministry of Defense, of Russia, the war is already lost. America has fallen because of its legal system has been co-opted by the deep state liberal judge activists who are not interested in the Constitution of the United States but are interested in only what they can twist to achieve their purposes contrary to the intent of the original founding fathers. The deck is stacked seriously against President Trump and the Patriots. The deep state continues to move ahead with his agenda regardless of a few setbacks. We need to repent, repent, repent as a nation and pray for President Trump to pick up his pace exponentially and begin arresting everyone guilty of high treason, murder of children and adults, pedophiles, human traffickers, fraudsters, and close forever the dozens of slush funds of the deep state located throughout the U.S. and the rest of the world. If we can awake the American people Excuse me, let me say that again. If we, the awake American people, can see through the deep state false flags, why in the world can't President Trump and his board of advisors? It is really not that difficult and is easy to spot, so why aren't they putting a stop to them? We need to pray for President Trump and his advisors, the reconciliation of America back to God, Yah, and teach and warn our friends and families of what lies ahead. <clears throat> what to expect to happen in the coming days. 
In outer space, we continue to be bombarded by harmful cosmic rays. We continue to have intruders to our solar system to include rogue asteroids, planetary objects, unknown spacecraft or UFOs, demonic portals being opened via CERN and various witchcraft means, invasion of our atmosphere by entities from other dimensions, the mainstream churches being overrun by false doctrines and teachings, and the falling away of many Christians, etc. The earth will continue to try and vomit out its inhabitants via volcanoes, earthquakes, freakish weather phenomena. A reset of the American dollar is on the horizon, which will cause major disruptions financially, leading to food shortages because of the above mentioned reasons, plus the failure of GMO crops, chemtrailing, poisoning of our food and water and air supplies. I could go on and on, but you get the idea. The only safe place is to be in the arms of Yah, or God, and Yusha, Jesus Christ. There is no place on the earth that's considered safe other than where they tell you to go and tell you what to do. They have told me to make physical preparations to include <clears throat> food and water, communications, protection, etc. These are not primarily for me or my family, but for those who are left behind. Contrary to what some of the brethren teach, quote, there is no preacher of rapture, end quote, I believe there is one for the faithful in Yahusha, Jesus Christ, as determined by him and the Father, not by some man saying, yes, you are going, or no, you are not. Perhaps well-intentioned, or perhaps not, some people are screaming there is no preacher of rapture. It is a doctrine of demons, etc., and use the same scriptural basis as the pre-trib rapture believers use in some cases. Sarcasm, ridicule, intimidation, accusatory words, etc., are the well-known tactics used by most, used most by Satan and his minions to try and intimidate a person to believe what they want them to believe. Since this event of a pre-trib rapture has never happened before, they say there is no basis in scripture for it to happen. Well, same thing can be had to, said to the pillars of fire by night for protecting the Israelis leaving Egypt, the parting of the Red Sea, the appearance of man in the desert daily, and a double portion prior to the Sabbath, etc. Just because something we haven't seen yet, or hasn't happened yet, doesn't mean that it can't or won't happen. You guys believe what you will, what you will but I appreciate no harsh words or debate concerning the rapture issue. <clears throat> Most have heard the three sides of the issue, pre-rapture, pre mid-trib uh, mid rapture, and post-trib rapture. Believe what you want. I am not accountable for what you believe <clears throat> or don't believe, and you're not accountable for what I believe or don't believe. We can share or declare our views and then move on. I love you. May Yah and Yahusha bless you and your families. Brother Ed. So this is what I wanted to share. Sorry that I've got congestion going on and I had to clear my throat a few times. Uh, I'm human. You know, things happen. Um, but I hope this uh, helps you and understand currently what's going on and what could be some events coming up uh, in the not too distant future. Uh, I love you. Uh, I pray for you. And we just need to stand. Stand on the truth you've been taught. Declare his word. Share his word. Love people. Do whatever you can to uh, be of service to your, to your friends and family and people. Help them get ready. I know a lot of them don't want to hear it. Don't want to talk about it. Oh, that's just you. That's what you think. Oh, that's just what you say, and many other things they say. And that's fine, you know. So long as we do our job and speak, then it's up to the recipients to do that what they will. So, until next time, y'all bless you, and I love you guys. Talk to you later.